Let's rank every version of Kevin Durant and see when he was really at his peak. Starting off our rankings at four is the Seattle Supersonics version of KD. With the team that lost two of their leading scorers, Durant showed a lot of promise in his early days by being the lone source of offense on a team on his way to averaging 20 points per game, which ironically is the same number of games that his team won. If him and the team played just a little bit better though, Sonics KD definitely would have locked third place and bumped Nets KD down in the rankings. His time with the Nets was one of the most important stages of his career. He was fresh off of an Achilles tear, and this was the first time he made his very own super team from scratch. Though that Nets team did only last two years, and imploded the worst way possible, Durant did become one of the few players to play even better after what most people call the career-ending injury. For our runner-up, we have the MVP version of KD back in OKC. While this may catch a lot of people by surprise, this version of KD didn't hone his full potential yet. Sure, he won a scoring title and had his first 50-40-90 season and won league MVP in this phase. But when he teamed up with Steph, Clay, and Draymond, that puts Warriors KD way above everyone else. Drop the bitterness and the feelings of unfairness that take away from the fact that Durant in a Warriors uniform was unstoppable. Though this version didn't win an MVP, this is when Durant became a complete player on both sides of the floor and even looked better on offense than Steph himself. After all, there was a reason Joe Lacob said his number 30 would be retired by the team a month after he went to the Brooklyn Nets. What Durant was able to do in the Bay was unfair for the rest of the league. Now that he's made another super team in Phoenix though, you could expect these rankings to change very soon, especially if he can rally the Valley to their first championship in franchise history.